Hey, what's up guys? Tegan here coming to you from my backyard in Pine, Colorado. Thank you so much for tuning into my astrophotography channel today. Uh, today's not going to, I'm not going to uh, do a tutorial video for you guys. I'm just going to show you my imaging equipment and tell you what I've been using for the past seven months, eight months. I did a full, uh, a full rig upgrade back in November, had some issues and finally got that all up and running by February. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I was working with. All right, now this is my entire imaging rig. I'm just gonna go ahead and talk to you about what basic, what the basic parts are, and then kind of do an explanation of what each part does. So, firstly, if you're gonna get into astrophotography, you're going to need, you're gonna need a mount that tracks the motion of the stars, and that's what this white tripod is. I have the Ioftron CEM60, and it has been a beast to use. I absolutely love it. It has a 60-pound payload capacity. So whatever, whatever combination of scope and camera that I really throw on there, it should be able to handle, unless you have like an observatory size scope. Um, but I absolutely love this mount. And like I said, you're gonna need this if, if you're gonna do deep sky astrophotography or long exposure astrophotography. A equatorial mount that tracks the stars is absolutely necessary. So sitting on top for my telescope is my Astrotech eight inch Ritchie Crichton and it's carbon fiber tube. And I chose carbon fiber just because it's a little bit lighter and it swells less during temperature swings than its metal brother. And so like for my camera sitting back here, I have the ASI, ZWO ASI 1600 monochrome CMOS chip. And this is also a great camera, especially if you like to do short exposure. You don't necessarily need 15, 20 minute exposures this camera does really well on even 60 second exposures. So this camera has also been a breeze to use. Now since it is, it, since it is a monochrome camera, you need a filter wheel with filters. And I have the ZWO manual filter wheel here. And inside is housed Astrodon LRGB filters and a three nanometer HA filter. I also have a three nanometer O3 filter, but since this is only a five position filter wheel, I cannot fit that in there right now. So I have my ASI 1600, I have my filter wheel, then I have my OAG and my auto guider. And what my auto guider does is it takes pictures of, of uh, it takes a frame and then it chooses a star and it sends that info to your computer and your computer calibrates and sends that info to your mount. It calibrates the movement of the stars, sends that info to your mount and then you can really make those perfect corrections for long exposure astrophotography instead of relaying or relying only on your mount to do the tracking. And then last, but definitely not least, is my pole master for polar alignment. And this is, even though it's kind of pricey, um, it is the simplest tool for polar aligning and making sure that your, your scope is aligned as most accurately as it can be to the North Celestial Pole, and this enables you to guide what guide better, or if you're not using an auto guider system, just relying on your mount and even tracking better. So yeah, this is the entirety of my setup. Like I said, I've had it for about seven months and I've been extremely happy with it. The long scope or the long focal length scope was a huge upgrade from my refractor. Even though refractors are extremely simple, simplistic, compact, easy to use, I had to go after the, the small galaxies and the, the great detail that you can find in galaxies and nebula. So that's why I chose a long focal length scope. But other than that, I've been, like I said, extremely happy with the setup. If you guys have any questions on this setup, um, let me know in the comments. Also, I'd love to hear what you guys have been using on your astrophotography journal. Journey, we all tend to uh, head separate ways. So I think I find it really interesting that why one pe one person would choose a uh, like a nude over an RC or an SCT, um, but yeah, go ahead and share share what equipment that you guys use. I'd love to hear. Um, so thanks so much for tuning in.